Hello everybody, welcome to a spotlight of the game kit. This is a puzzle game built around the flow of electricity. I got a press copy from the developer and I've been trying it out. And it is an interesting minimalistic puzzle game that also offers a workshop if you want to create your own puzzles. So before we begin this spotlight, please keep in mind anything that I show will obviously be a spoiler. So, uh, keep that in mind, and because of that, we're only going to do maybe 5 or 10 of the levels in the game, depending upon how far we get. So, as you can see, this is our first level, very simplistic. Basically, the idea is we need to get the power generated by the batteries to our end goals here. So, this one, we just have to turn the gate, and we're done. And for this one, we have to adjust things, like so. And of course, things are going to get a little bit more complicated, and the game adds in more modifiers and variants to mix things up. So for this one, as long as one is being powered, good. And as you can see, this is definitely more on the... I'm not sure what it's called. That's a lot of no. Alright. And this is more on the very uh, streamlined take in terms of puzzle design. Every puzzle has one solution. And there really isn't any um, options for improvisation or finding your own solution in games like Space Chem, Infinite Factory, and so on. So with this one, we have to get it to all three. So what does this do? The output always is the opposite of the input, okay? So we got one. So that needs two. It is a little bit tricky in terms of just understanding like how you solve things. I would actually suggest that you can turn it off so it doesn't auto advance, just to make it easier for you to process just what you did. So with this one, if we connect here, we blow ourselves up. And you can see what happened. It was over here, the two ants are successful, we light. As you can see, things are getting a little bit more challenging. Active when both inputs are not powered. So it goes over here, up. That's now off. And these are splits. Let's go over here. There we go. Again, if you're looking for something overly complicated or that, again, is open to a lot of interpretations, Kit is probably not it. But it's, I think this is going to be one of like those rainy day puzzle games. Something to do when you have a few minutes to kill and you're not looking for anything that's like super strenuous. So this is always the opposite, so if I turn that off, we're good. Act when at least one input's powered, and then... Lambo. <laughs> Wish we can zoom in. Again, a very clean looking game. And Again, just because we are getting further and further, and I want to show everything off, the game comes with 62 levels. So just for the hell of it, I'm going to just pick a random late one, just so we can see... 
will even let me load it up. There we go. So when we get to something on the later end, it gets a little bit more advanced here. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm looking at here. So it's definitely good that kit does get a little bit more complicated, but I think it does a good job, <laughs> thank you down there, of introducing things slowly but surely. And that is very important for puzzle games like this that introduce different rules and modifiers to the proceedings. So we come over here. Alright, so we're on a playlist. Okay, so here's the default. How do we switch things over? Oh, okay. before the time runs out. I was never good at these kinds of user-generated levels. It's not good to do things when you're trying to record. Music's nice, though. Using the mouse wheel. Can I grab this? It's a little bit uh, cumbersome. I can't seem to drag and move around. But I'm sure for people who really get into the game, they can certainly mess around and build whatever crazy levels they see fit. So we can head back over here. I think we did this one already. Let's do one more and then we'll call it. Because again, everything that I show you is basically just spoiling the puzzles in this game. Alright, so obviously we need to switch that over. And I just blew ourselves up. So we need to get rid of this. That's just floating in the space there. And this should be... Oh, I forgot. Turn that one over. Oh. Thought I hit that one. <laughs> it's really good when I'm trying to record these things and talk at the same time, right? There. But yeah, again, this is one of those games that what you see is basically what you get. And if you are looking for, again, something with a little bit more that involves you as the player impacting the solution, this is probably not the game for you, but I'm enjoying it. Again, it is a little bit on the basic side, especially after doing Space Chem and TIS 100, 
but it has a good look and feel to it. And I think with that, again, we'll wrap up this quick look now. Again, if you want to pick up Kit, it is available on Steam. It does come with the workshop feature and all that great stuff. And again, if you're looking for a a simple, or at least on the simpler side of a puzzle game, at least starting out, you can definitely give this one a spin. But otherwise, thanks for watching this quick look at the game. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're new. If you are working on an interesting game uh, and you would like me to see about taking a look at it here on the channel, please don't hesitate to get in touch. But otherwise, check back daily for more great discussions on design here and on Game Wisdom, where we examine the art and science of games. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy it, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and of course share with your friends, it always helps out. For daily posts on all manner of game design and industry topics, check out game-wisdom.com. To support the site and everything that I do, be sure to check out the Patreon campaign. If we can hit goals, it will mean more content for everyone to enjoy, and I'll be able to support myself and my household. If you want to follow me, you can find me on Twitter at GWBicer for updates throughout the day and random thoughts from me. And lastly, you can find me on Twitch right over there at GWBicer for daily streams most nights around 10 Eastern. Thanks again for watching the video, and be sure to check out more great content coming to the Game Wisdom channel real soon.